Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Today we're here in Lake Louise, Alaska, and we're ice fishing. quick but we're here actually, actually. Tommy, i just realized something we don't have your snowsuit oh my gosh uh give daddy a moment to think about this hold on dan, dan we, got, we got a little problem here what i forgot tommy's snowsuit it's heated at the ice shack right right yes <laughs> <laughs> I, I i brought an extra coat i think I might be able to pull that off. We'll okay, see. so we put them in the coat. I'll cover them in hand warmers. We'll shove them in the sleeping bag, and we can get them transported <laughs> to the ice shack. We'll Does that see. seem reasonable? That seems reasonable to I'm me. Not, I'm not a bad parent. Fish. <laughs> if I do that, okay. That's really not good. That's really not good. That is correct, Ransom. It is really not good. Oh, I got your sleeping bags too. Get in your snowsuit, buddy. You want goggles? Well guys, we're here at the Point Lodge in Lake Louise and I'm here with Patrick with Chase and Tails Guide Service here. And uh, we're excited to go catch some big fish. We were here about, what was it, about a year ago? Yeah, almost a year ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, had a great time. There are some monster lake trout in here and burbot and other things. And uh, we're gonna be spending two nights, three days here on the lake. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Yeah, looking forward to it. Tom, are you okay? I can't feel my legs, but I'm okay. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Middle of Lake Louise. It is a balmy, warm 12 degrees outside. So it's almost 50 degrees warmer than the last time we were here. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. We've got some ice shacks here. Got a little bench here to hang out. And we got the holes right down here. A big buddy heater, even some room for sleeping bags. Boys get tired, they can take naps. We can even camp out here if we want. How deep the ice here? Uh, maybe two feet. Yes. Is that electric? Electric. Oh, <laughs> it's electric. Do, 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 do. <laughs> big hooks and big lures for big fish. The lake trout are the size of salmon and bigger. They're huge. Oh, did you bring ice in a cooler for your fish? I don't think we need that. <laughs> I think they'll be iced just fine. Yeah, outside. we were good. All right. Yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> Some white oh, fish. Yeah. Fish. White fish that I caught. Yep. It's gonna be a big piece, but just like that. That little thing right here is an electronic light that turns on when it hits water. Flashes green in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little green flash. That's it. Oh, look, look at these little rod holders here. So we stick that, that in there. We can leave that one now and go to another hole. And when it gets hit, we don't run over there and set the hook. Drop it down there and just let it hit the bottom and then kind of bounce it up and down off the bottom a few times and let it sit. It is on. We're fishing on the edge of a slope. So we're getting progressively deeper and deeper the farther away from the shack we go. But we got it staggered so we can fish at different depths and kind of see where the fish are. Tommy, how you doing? You staying warm? Staying warm. Good. Yeah. Here, hold the camera. Oh. That's something on there. Come on, Tom, this is your rod. You know what that is, Tom? What? That's a burbot. Ah, burbot. There's a burbot. Look at that. There we go, my very first burbot. They're kind of like a eel. Like some people call them eel pot, freshwater cod. They get much bigger than this. I think it's kind of about an average size, what do you think? Yeah, that's about average. They really look a lot like the Japanese catfish. There you go, on ice. <laughs> get him flattened out and frozen up. I can't tell if Oh, uh, Jake, Jake's got a fish. I think Jake got one in the ice shack. You guys got one? Look at that, it's a nice fish. Uh. What a 
Do you want a picture? Oh, sure. Here, come Reach on. out. Just like that. Perfect. Here, hold on. Look at me. Thank you, Eva. There we go. Oh, it was a pretty sweet setup. We've got rods and rod holders in a big circle all around us at different depths. And they've got alarms on them. And we can just sit out here and keep an ear out for the alarm and run and go get fish. Boys can warm up in the ice shack. And, and the best part is I didn't have to rig everything up and set it all up. <laughs> That ransom hustle. Real, real, real. Sit. Oh real, yeah. Real. There we go. Yep, it's nice and smooth now. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Oh. That's, that's a big one. Yeah. yeah. The beautiful bourbon. Drop it. Whoa. All right. We got a fish. Yep. I don't think there's anything on it. You guys gonna ride the snow machine a little bit? Yeah. All right. You can see the sun over there on the horizon. It's uh, gonna set in about two hours. It's almost 2 p.m. So uh, we gotta get ready for nighttime. It gets dark really quick in the winter time here. Oh yeah, jerked that right out of his mouth. We'll set that back, see if we get him. You guys doing okay in here? Shut the door! Are you guys having fun though? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's warm in here. I'm gonna step outside and eat my lunch. Oh, hello! Oh. Here, here, here. I'm gonna screw up one thing at a time. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard that alarm go off. I just go, rah! Boom! <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Oh, that is a nice that one. Nice. Look at that, nice bourbon. I think that's the biggest one we've seen. <laughs> you know what? You... All right. Woo. Ah, woo, that's nice. This is... Yeah. yeah, I'll pull them up. Yeah, look at that. That's my first bourbon. And I did it inside. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were out here, we caught all lake trout. I was like, oh man, I really want to catch a bourbon. Patrick's like, I got you this time. Get that door shut. Every time I try to pull out my uh, my lunch, the bourbon cup. This is a Cornish pasty. It's a British pastry. I got kind of a non-traditional one. This one's got uh, apples, raisins, pork, and a little nutmeg and cinnamon. Smeared some bacon fat in there too, because bacon fat makes everything better. Hey, Jake. We got to get you a fish, buddy. Well, the sun's starting to set. Traditionally, that's a good time to catch lake trout. So who knows? We might start hooking up some lakers. Come on, Jacob. Come on. Come on, Jake. Can you reel it? There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh it's a bourbon jingle. And he swallowed it. Oh, look at that. It's a bourbon. Hold the rod. Hold the rod. Good job, Jake. You like that? Yeah. All right, we can keep this one if he's uh, in bad shape. Well, this one swallowed it good too, so we're going to keep him. We got two bourbon. We're going to have some nice bourbon to eat. You gonna go back in the ice shack? I don't believe you. It's getting cold out here. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and the sun's setting, so I gotta bust out my headlamps here. We're gonna be night fishing real quick. Temperature's also dropping. It doesn't feel like it's the balmy 12 degrees that it was earlier today. Finally get your gloves on and you realize you need to turn your camera off. <laughs> really hard to operate a GoPro with these mittens on. Oh. Eat my dust, Dan! <laughs> there we go, another bourbon.
Yeah, some bird at Po' Boy. Yeah. Come on, Tom. There you go. There you go. You got him. Oh! You got, oh, nope, you don't have it. Yeah, go get warmed up, Tom. He's doing really well for only having his dad's jacket over. Big Daddy Bird. Sorry, Bobby. You thank me. Good job, Tom. High five. Well, we are tearing up the burbot. We are going to have some good food. Well, I've lost count of how many fish we caught, but we're going to be here for a couple days, so we're not going to push the boys hard. We're going to go uh, get some warm dinner and relax and just have a little fun, and we're going to start this up again tomorrow morning. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get into some big lake trout. Yeah. There he goes. There you go guys, get your feet warmed up. Let's go find some dinner. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ketchup and mustard, please. Uh, ransom. You like your hamburger? Good. Today, my little Jacob has turned four years old. He's a big boy. Ooh. So, I ask you this do you? Yeah. Come on, everyone. Out into the frigid cold. Yeah, we might see the northern lights tonight. It says there's a chance. Every time you press into you. All right, guys, you gotta go to the bathroom. You wait here, Tom. There's the heater. Come on, get in bed. All right, Tom, you warm? Mm-hmm. Good. Right. Well, it's bedtime for these guys, so I'm gonna turn this off and see you guys in the morning. It's 7.30 in the morning and it's a little bit cold in here. There's frost on the inside of our door. I'll have to go use the outhouse. Oh, I gotta tell you, number two Z's are so cold. <laughs> Going to the bathroom almost killed me. <laughs> It's cold. I think maybe we should use a lot of hand warmers today. How about what do you think of that? A lot, a lot. <laughs> oh, guys, it is significantly colder outside. Day 20 right now, yeah. yeah. This is a healthy meal. Glory. You can feel it in your nose when it's negative 20. It makes your boogers freeze. Come on guys, into the cabin. Let's get you dressed. Let's see. Choke. We got about five minutes out in the cold before my camera dies and needs to get reheated and uh my fingers got maybe 10. got some white fish uh, this did not thaw out all right guys here's one okay let me know if you get anything okay i'm gonna go set up the other stuff At negative 20, the holes ice over very quickly. And when they ice over, the fish can be tugging and nothing will happen to the rod. You won't even know it. You gotta keep the holes clear. That's gonna be a full-time job. Well, one nice thing about the weather, you don't need a cooler. You guys having fun? Yes. Awesome. I'm happy to break the ice out of the holes every 10 minutes. 
The 33 degree water from the lake is steaming like a cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> it's cold out here, guys. There we go. That's beautiful. All right, let's get back in the hole. It's cold out here. Boy, there we go. We got one all by ourselves. He's, Rats has got one. Oh. All right, you got it, Rats? Oh, look at the head on that thing. Whoa, that's about as big as he's got. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, let's hold that puppy out. Look at that. Nice burbot. Look at that. That was good back in the hole. Now you may have noticed Patrick's not with us today. We decided to hire his full-blown guide service for the first day and then just rent the gear for the second. And it's working out really nice. You know, we're catching fish on our own and it's just a, just a fun, kind of different experience. If you guys want to do this yourself, I'll put a link down in the description below to Chasing Tails Guide Service. Hey Jake, how you doing? Are you keeping warm? I mean, all the way out here to see you. Oh, it's good to see you. Yeah, I'm just going around to all the holes and getting rid of the ice. You want to come get rid of the ice with me? Sure. Do you need to use the potty? Do you need to go pee or poo? Poo. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to have to poop at negative 20. Can you do it? Okay. Think, was that cold? Yeah, that was super cold. All right, let's get you some snacks, shall we? It's a little bit of time for a lunch break. We got a uh, little Mabidofu Bento here. We're just walking around from rod to rod, clearing out the ice and checking on things. And it's kind of nice, keeps you warm. And if I keep my camera down my shirt and under my armpit, it stays warm enough where I can film. Back in my armpit. Oh. What do you think, burbot or laker? Uh, I'm gonna guess burbot. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Dan! Wow! That's the biggest lake trout of the trip so far. Look at that, nice lake trout, Dan. Oh, that's nice, Dan. Now our hands are so cold! Yeah, Dan didn't even know that one was on there. He was just kicking the ice out. And uh, once he did that, he found the fish. That sun's getting low. Must be 2 p.m. All right, let's check out the boys and see how they're doing. Everyone's rocking out to Flight of the Valkyries. Tommy, are you doing well? You warm? Yes. Ransom, you good? I'm doing great. Ben, you doing good? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got my go -go. You need to poop, Jake? Yeah! Check the rods out. Are you having fun? Yes. Look at your eyelashes have frosted them. <laughs> now I think it's time to start cleaning things up, getting packed up here. Jake. It's negative 21 degrees outside and poor Jacob just bit it face first in the snow getting off the snow machine. That was so cold. Yeah, I've had that happen many, many times. Many, many times. Well guys, let me unload the snow machine and then we'll get it ready and go to dinner, okay? Snow machine. Come on in quickly, quickly, come on in, come on in. Come on, move, move, move. It's negative 24 outside, and the only thing keeping us from hypothermia 
is uh, this little space heater right here. It's uh, it's still real nippy in here, so we're gonna get in our sleeping bags. We're gonna cuddle up under some blankets. And you guys want to watch the movies? Oh, good morning. Well, we're all awake. Oh, yeah. oh. there's the generator. Well, the generator just died. I think it's a sign that we should get packed up and go home. Oh, we got a little bit of snow coming down. Got a fair amount of it last night. Look. Yeah. Feels like it's above zero right now. It's actually quite nice. Like this. We're going to ratchet strap our fish to the back of the car. Yeah, some people strap deer to the front of their trucks. We strap burbot to the back of an SUV. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good burbot strapping right there. <laughs> Good stuff. You go the wrong way, Jacob. Well, Patrick, we had a great time. Thank you so much, You're welcome. Yeah, listen, guys, if you're ever in Alaska near Lake Louise and you want to go to do some awesome ice fishing, check out Patrick's guide surface, Chasing Tails. I'm going to put a link down in the video description below. All right, man. I'll awesome. see you guys next yep. time. We'll see be you back. Later. <laughs> what are we at? Three degrees. Yeah. Warmed up significantly. Oh, yes. Well, it took a few hours, but the bourbon are thawed out, and I think it's time to fillet them up. Yeah, they're still a little stiff, but I think we can make it work. Skin on the bourbon's really thin, and they have almost no scales. They just have these tiny little scales, so you could fry up the skin and eat it just like you could salmon, and it wouldn't be a big deal at all. All right, nice chunk of belly meat. So there's no Y bones to worry about. So this isn't like a pike or a lot of other fish. Okay, just gonna go ahead and stick that in the fridge. And then tomorrow, we're gonna have a little bit of a dinner party. We're gonna have some friends over and uh, we're gonna cook up those bourbon. Grab a roll, throw some fish in there, load it up with as much as you want. Got the sweet chili sauce on there. I like to smear it on the bread. Load up as many veggies as you do or you don't want. Go for it. Remember, if you hate it, just spit it all out off camera. I love avocado. It's a nice, clean white meat. I mean, it's um, it's not as firm and flaky as halibut, but it's you know it's a pretty simple, straightforward white meat. It's not as muddy as catfish, so. Well, it works out pretty good. I like that. I what do you think? Did you like it? Balloon. Was it good? I think it's good. All right. Listen, do you guys enjoy the bourbon? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good. Well, listen, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed catching them. Listen, if you guys want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching.
If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.